you guys good morning i am so happy to be back in new york city i have not been here for the past week so it feels really good and i am very much in need of a routine so that's what we're going to be talking about today we're going to be going through my morning routine this video is sponsored by sephora collection um, which is exciting for a number of reasons but we'll get to that in a bit. It is, I had to wake up early this morning. It is 7.45 because I'm meeting a special friend later that you guys will recognize. I wanted to kind of do my morning before that. I'm glad to wake up early. I find I wake up so much easier when it's warmer out and you can hear the birds chirping and it feels just like brighter and warmer and just, it makes it so much easier for me to get out of bed. I don't know about you guys. Anyways, we are gonna get today started with a workout um i just feel so out of shape i don't know i want to feel strong again so i'm gonna get back on my workout grind i think i'm probably gonna do the treadmill for a bit and then i think i'm gonna do a melissa wood health i feel like i've gotten pretty good to sticking to a solid morning routine here so I wanted to kind of just detail it a bit more. We're gonna do a nice get ready with me. I have PR, we're gonna have a great morning. So let's go to the gym. First one in the gym, I got it to myself. I want to do elliptical today for a bit. So that's the plan. That felt so good. I'm gonna shower and then we're gonna do a fun get ready with me. It is now time to figure out what the heck I'm wearing. I have these jeans and I'm not sure what top I wanna wear. Maybe a little cardigan would be cute. I kinda wanna be casual. It is time to start getting ready. I have my big light on and I just want to kind of hang out chit chat thank you Sephora collection for inviting me to join true bestie 2021 very excited about that we're gonna get into makeup I want to do really simple today I showed you guys a couple videos ago I believe that I got this Ola Hendrickson banana bright vitamin C serum everyone swears by this i actually already put a little bit on my skin but i'll show you guys it literally comes out like orange but blends in really well so far so good i'm loving this product today i really just want to focus on brows and blush those have recently been like my two go-to products if i'm doing like a no makeup makeup look i was telling my mom that the sephora collection video that i was filming this week was about brows and she was like that actually makes so much sense because since we're wearing masks you really only see your eyes and if you don't want to wear a lot of makeup it just helps you look like really cleaned up and put together i do not look like that but i'm going to show you what sephora collection just came out with which i'm really excited about they just came out with this byob build your own brow so cute collection it's three full-size sephora collection products for 16 dollars which is incredible um the rest of the products i have so many to show you guys i have so many brow products with me right now um are 12 dollars each so if you just need like one basic thing it makes sense to just get one product but if you're looking for kind of like a brow refresh kit this one is amazing it comes with a brow pencil but you get to choose your own shade so it's not like a one size fits all i got long nails a couple weeks ago and i still feel like i can't do anything with them we are going to start off with the tweezer <laughs> so i guess this would be a good time to tell you guys a very embarrassing story about myself when i was in eighth grade i was dorothy in my eighth grade play before this show i discovered my mom's tweezers 
and I was like, this is perfect. I'm gonna be in front of people. I took it upon myself to tweeze and it was one of those situations where I was literally so close to the mirror the whole time that when I stepped back, I was like, oh my God, what did I do? Basically, if you can tell, this part of my eyebrow is pretty sparse. Like it's a lot lighter here and it starts getting thicker about here. That's because I plucked all the way to here. So basically my eyebrows were like that. Anyways, I've learned my lesson not to over tweeze. It's good to step back, see the whole picture once in a while. I'm going to tweeze there. And then under my eyebrows, I can tell that I have a bunch of strays. I used to get my eyebrows threaded all the time, but I haven't felt comfortable going somewhere to get my eyebrows done in COVID because it feels like your face is like right next to somebody else's. So I've just been doing it myself, but clearly I have not been doing a good job at keeping up with it because my eyebrows are a mess. Now that I have done my tweezing, I'm gonna move to the next step. So I'm gonna go in with this. This is the retractable brow pencil. So you can see it goes out, which is amazing. You don't need to have like a sharpener or anything to use this. It's so thin, so it creates brow-like strokes. I like to go a little heavier on this inner corner just because I sabotaged myself when I was younger, so I don't have hair there. What's also really nice is on the other side of this, there's like a little brush. So you can kind of brush this out. That also helps the product to kind of like move in a more natural way. Final step for brows is we are gonna use this Sephora Collection Clear Brow Gel. What I love about this is you guys know this soap brow trend where you like laminate your eyebrows up is really popular, but that's a little intimidating. So if you guys are curious about that trend and kind of want to like try it out, this is a great middle ground. As promised, we're gonna end with blush. We have this Tarte Amazonian Clay and Party. So I just got a good amount on my brush. I learned for my face, it looks best if I put it on my cheekbones. It just kind of brings my face up without needing to contour or do any of that other stuff. I'm super pale in the winter. I haven't been using any tanning products. So it's nice when I can start to kind of bring color back to my face. Pro tip, you can add a little bit on the bridge of your nose and it does look like you're a little like sun-kissed. Recently, I've also been putting blush on my eyes. I think it adds just like a really nice flush and color there, especially if I'm not wearing any other makeup. I just love the way that looks. And voila, I'm done. I have to run out the door in literally three minutes. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with my wet hair and I will catch you guys as I'm running out the door. Okay, I definitely want to wear some rings and then I'm gonna use my Daisy perfume. Okay guys, I'm good to go. I actually am not, I need my wallet. Should I bring a bag? I'll bring a bag. Okay, good to go. Very basic fit today. But here's the look. I'm gonna run out and then come back. Organize, yikes, big yikes. Okay, don't look at that, don't look at that. Okay, let's go. Guys, look how pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> Yummy and look who I'm wearing. <laughs> look who I'm wearing. Oh my God, pretty. Hi guys. <laughs> I had a ton of packages come in when I was gone, so I'm going to unwrap these. Umbra always hooks it up, and they sent this really cool chest set. I feel like this would look really cool in our den. And I got two things from Depop that I'm so excited about. I got this crew neck with this gorgeous little pony on it. And then I found this beauty on Depop, and I think she put a little note in here. I don't know what the store name is, but I'm so obsessed. Thank you guys for joining me for my routine. I had a great morning. For the rest of the day, I'm probably just gonna be doing some cleaning up. Yeah, I have another video coming this week. I am hoping I can post a podcast this week. Just posted a blog post with all of my favorite picks for spring. I'm just happy to be back in the city. It feels so good to be back here. I love you guys and I will see you 
in Mayday video.